what happened to the X-Men at the end of X-Men 97 when trying to prevent the cosmic asteroid from colliding with Earth after the UN's Magneto protocols failed as expected, the X-Men were ready to sacrifice themselves. Beast's plan to block the impact didn't work, but at a crucial moment, Charles Xavier managed to revive Magneto, who intervened in time to stop the asteroid. Surprisingly though, the asteroid was vaporized and disappeared along with the X-Men before revealing that they had been transported through time. Most of the mutants, including the revitalized Magneto, all-powerful, were sent to Egypt in 3000 BC, where they encountered Ensaba Nur, also known as Apocalypse, in a more human form than seen before in X-Men the animated series. Meanwhile, Cyclops and Jean Grey traveled to the year 3960 AD, where they met their mother, Ascani, and the Ascani clan. They also reunited with their son, Nathan, who had been sent to the future to protect him, along with Bishop, at the start of season one. But what actually sent the X-Men back in time? In the comics, both Beast and the Phoenix Force have been responsible for stories where the X-Men have time traveled, but neither seems to be the case here. Episode 97 of X-Men suggests that Apocalypse might be the key to this event in the end. And given that the villain has used time travel before, this connection to the timeline might be the explanation for what happened. Remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video to stay up to date. Your likes and subscriptions contribute to the growth of the project and the more it grows, the more interesting videos I can bring to you. Agreed? Thank you for your support.